Hello, my name is Mitya and in this tutorial I'm going to walk you through setting up Lightact's Unreal Engine uh, plugin. <clears throat> I'm going to be using Unreal Engine 5.4 and Lightact 4.7. So the first step you need to do is create a new um, Unreal Engine project. Obviously, you can integrate the plugin into existing projects as well, but I'm just going to walk you through the entire um, the entire workflow so that it's all covered. The best way to start is to create an, a new project based on end display template, which you can find in film, video and live events, and then create it. I'm just going to type um, something like this. Okay. So when the project is created, you need to go to its folder and create a new folder called plugins. And into it, you need to um, copy the archive that you downloaded from the page, from our web page. and extract it. Afterwards you can delete the zip file. So you've got your project folder, you've got plugins folder and here you've got Lightact folder and then in this folder there should be this file. So that's how you know that your uh, your folder structure is correct. Once this is done you just open the Unreal Engine project again and wait for it to open. So the first step, the first check that you can do is to check whether you ha you see this icon here. If you do, it means that uh, the project, the plugin is has been found and is already uh, enabled. If it's not, then you can go to the plugins folder. If you don't see that, and here you'll see the Lightech plugin and as you can see it's already enabled. Okay, so I'm going to do some steps here that are not necessarily uh, required but I think they are a good practice. So I'm going to create a Lightech folder and one more thing, so there are two windows that you'll probably find very useful. One is called Genlock and the other one is called Timecode Provider and this one basically gives you information about the genlock of Unreal Engine, which is useful later, that I will we'll talk about it later. And timecode provider window tells you the timecode of Unreal Engine and where it comes from. You'll also be using LiveLink later on, so you can see most of these windows here. Genlock, you see, LiveLink and timecode provider. All right, so in this Lightact folder, I'm going to create two um, actors. And one is called custom time step. And I'm going to, I usually name it LA step, but you can obviously name it however you want. And Lightact again, and this one is called time code and I usually name it LA underscore TC. Okay and then in the project settings what I'm going to do is I'm going to as the provider of custom time step which is basically the same as Genlock I'm going to select the actor that I created just before and this one LA underscore step and then I'm going to also time code do the same thing for the timecode provider and select LA underscore TC. Now, as you can see, these um, windows changed. Here you see that um, the timecode is, let's, mi oops. let's minimize this a bit, like so. So you see at the moment it doesn't follow yet. So what I'm going to do is go to the Unreal Link window and select 
timeline one as the time code source and I'm going to select send time code to UE. And now you see that the time code of Unreal Engine is following the time code of LightAct. Now this may not be required in every project that you do, so feel free to, av to avoid this step if you want. The other thing is called Genlock Unreal Engine. And you see how this window here changed? It means that LightAct is now genlocked to the, uh, to, uh, sorry, the Unreal Engine is now genlocked to uh, LightAct. And this is often very useful, um, especially if both apps are running on the same computer, to avoid the two apps to fight for the same resources. Okay, so that's one thing that we need to do. And the other one is to drag light act runtime actor into the level, like so. You don't need to do anything else with this actor at the moment. Um, because it's already set up the way you want in most cases. And Light Act Runtime Actor is, is used to send data from Unreal Engine back to Light Act so that Light Act can know what's happening. Okay, so then I think that's more or less everything we needed to do on this step in Unreal. So let's go back to Light Act and here I'm going to create a thrower. Now, as you may already know, there are two ways to get the texture back from Unreal Engine. One is to use the end display configura configuration files only, and the other one is to use LightAct cameras inside Unreal Engine level and to send the texture back um, from these cameras. And these two approaches are going to be explained in a separate tutorial. Now I'm just go, would like just to show you um, what happens, what the Light Act runtime actor is for, essentially. So I'm going to be using this thrower to um, use it as a camera inside and display configuration file. So the first thing I need to do is basically create a and display configuration file based out of this thrower and then I'm going to generate a launch command. And if you have, ah, one thing that I've forgotten, of course you need to drag the U project into the LightX window so that it appears as an Unreal Engine asset here. Okay, let's try again. Now it should work, yeah. One thing that you might forget is first you need to select the and I've forgotten as well is you need to select the correct Unreal Engine um, version that the Unreal Engine assets are. Um, so this Unreal Engine asset is made with Unreal Engine 5.4 so I need to make sure that it's selected here because the launch command depends it differs based on the Unreal Engine version. The next thing you need to do, you need to have a Unreal Engine correct path to the correct Unreal Engine set. Okay, and I'm going to regenerate so that it uses the correct path and once I click on launch and display, it's going to get launched in the background and when it's running you'll see that the stats here start to change and that's how you know that the Unreal Engine is running in the background. So now you see that the, the stats here indicate that the Unreal Engine is running in the background. There are other ways that you can also, that, that you can also check with like to disable render off screen and so on. And you can find out more about all of these settings in our user documentation in the end in the subsequent tutorials. So in the next tutorial, we're going to learn how to get the texture 
um, back from Unreal Engine. So if you want to kill and display running in the background, just click on this button and it's going to get killed. 